Hello, this is Nita Marie here. Welcome to Nita Marie Land. I'm so excited because we're here in Vegas having a big party with some of my favorite girls on the planet. And today I get to interview three top OnlyFans models who love doing OnlyFans because they love being stay-at-home moms and they love the girlfriends. Hello, this is Nita Marie here. I'm a mom, an entrepreneur, an online model and a women's empowerment coach. I have built my dream life by being an OnlyFans model and I have empowered and inspired lots of other women to come alongside me to build their own dream life. You are going to see an inside scoop of some of their stories, their struggles, their highs, their lows, their obstacles they've had to overcome and you're gonna see lots of laughter, lots of fun, lots of boobs. <laughs> and I can't wait to invite you into Nita Marie Land. Okay, so we are here with Smileyness. Hello. And I wonder why her name is Smileyness. I don't, I don't know, I really don't I know. I don't know either. I really don't think I can not smile. I know. Like my cheeks are kind of permanently up there. Uh, yeah, you've yeah. got the dimples, yeah. and you're constantly <laughs> smiling, which I love that about you. So you're always smiling and always so cute. Thank you. <laughs> my coaching group for like a year and or maybe yeah about a year yeah and it's so funny because I love getting to know people that I didn't know that much before because I was texting you and I realized that we raised money for you during the hurricane yes you did yes and I was like at that point I didn't know you that well but now we've gotten to know each other so well yeah. through the coaching <laughs> and talking to me every week and then of course You're like my our, therapist I know, I know. <laughs> And um, you are a passionate mom and yeah. you have talked about doing lots of good things with your kids and you want to provide a good home for your kids yes. you want to provide enough money to have a nice home yes all of this is for them yeah all of this for them right it and, really is and I think a lot of people don't realize that because sometimes people judge when someone is an OnlyFans model that they judge our motives yeah but your motive really is that you want to be able to stay at home with your kids. That is 100% the reason. Like, yeah. I'm like, everything is for them. Yeah. I love it. I'm going to homeschool. I'm going to everything. Oh, yeah. I'm a full-on, hands-on mom. And did you see what I posted about homeschooling this year? I did. I did see It was that. one of the best decisions I made is homeschooling the girls. Yeah. And um, because we have our online business, you can have that flexibility to, you know, take breaks and do yeah. work, you know, online yeah, whenever they need me, they just knock on the door. Mommy, I'm like, come on. Right? I can't say no. Yeah. So you've got the flexibility of being at home. Um, but then what is something else you love about being a, an OnlyFans model? I mean, there's so much to it. Yeah. Like, it's from, like, how you talk to your fans. Uh -huh. Like, I get very personal with, like, all of my fans. I feel like I know them on another level. I feel like I'm their therapist okay. half the time. Yeah. And it's like, they come to me for everything. And I love that. I'm yes. like, you can come to me. I got you. Oh, <laughs> I'll be your little smiley positivity at the end of the day after your long work day. <laughs> and that's what your fans love the most about you. Yeah. It's your positivity. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's definitely the key. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, and you are in your 20s, right? I am. Okay. I am 25. 25. Yes. So I always like to tell people OnlyFans can be for like the younger girls, the 30-year-old girls, the 40-year-old girls, almost 50. <laughs> different um, times of your life really so is. like you could be doing this for the next 30 years yeah I never expected myself to do this yeah like I was a vet tech for eight years I ran an animal hospital yeah I would have never done it but then I'm like everyone overthinks it and yeah. it's honestly super awesome you get yeah. to have a whole community yeah it's like what is not to love exactly <laughs> well, love so it. how much money do you need to be able to move to Colorado so you can be closer to us <sighs> A lot. <laughs> but uh, it's going to happen this year. Yeah. I know it's going to happen this year. OnlyFans gives me that opportunity to where, yeah. like, it is limitless as long as you work. Yeah. And that's what it is. You put the work in, you will get the results. Yeah. So I'm just going to say 10000 a month. That's what we're claiming, yep. right? 10000 yeah. a month. I would say that would be perfect. Yeah. Okay. We got it. can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving in.
at Bella. I'm so excited. We're here in Las Vegas having a big party. Can you hear it in the background? Yeah. <laughs> so loud. I know. So anyway, we're here having a big party in Las Vegas and Bad Bella came to crash our party, but I am so excited that she did. And she's been an OnlyFans model for three years? Yes, three years. Okay. And what do you love best about being an OnlyFans model? I think probably the best part is meeting all these new people all the time and traveling and yeah, connecting with other people that like to create content. Yeah, we're like a big community, are we? Yeah, it's, it takes a special type of person that likes to do this kind of stuff. Yeah. So I feel like we really connect, you know? Right. So. Because not everybody understands us in the regular world. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So speaking of, have you ever had anything happen to you where maybe you were judged or criticized for being an OnlyFans model? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like what? Um, all the time, I feel like. And if you say you're an OnlyFans model, you kind of get the stigma, you know, that you're uh, promiscuous or uh -huh. whatever. It just depends too where I used to live. Um, I got a lot more judgment than living in Vegas. In right. Vegas, it's more common. So. Right. Yeah. Where did you live before? Um, San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, okay. So did you have people, like some of your friends judge you? And Yeah, actually basically um, all of my current friends are other OnlyFans models. <laughs> because all the friends I had, just they just couldn't, you know, they couldn't do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Well, I guess that's bad, but it's good for us because we gained new friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So why do you think some of your other friends couldn't handle you being an OnlyFans model? Um, I think also just because I'm a, kind of a free spirit and I like to dress, you know, promiscuous and just, I don't know, and just some of the shoots that I was doing, they just thought it was really weird. Yeah. Um, and just, just too much. They couldn't relate. So, yeah. yeah. I think they just judged a little too much and I could feel it, so it was time to move on. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. You were able to handle that pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any uh, family members that that happened to as well, or are they all pretty supportive? My family's pretty supportive, actually. So oh, that's good. I got lucky there. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Sometimes it's the opposite. Yeah, I like to tease my family about it. <laughs> that <laughs> you're an only hands model. Oh yeah, I mess with them. I'm like, so I'm gonna go to the shoot. <laughs> like, yeah. What do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. So, your favorite thing is meeting people. Um, is there anything that you don't like about being an OnlyFans model? Um, I think, like, the burnout. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work, huh? <laughs> and I, like, I just want to be a part of everything, so I, I overbook myself. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. And it's just the constant need to feel like I have to keep working and working and working until I sleep. <laughs> if, I, if I sleep. <laughs> until I crash. Well, I don't think people realize how much work it is, right? They have no idea. No. If you don't do it, you have no idea. Yeah, you just don't realize how much work it is. They just think that we're looking pretty on camera. But they think that all we do is film things here and there. Yeah. Like, we just film. I'm like, that's one part of it. Yeah, that's one part of it. Yeah. And I think that was one of the things that I always hated about when I was judged for it, that people always felt like, well, I wasn't using my brains. I'm just using, like, my body. But that's so not right. true. Because, we're businesswomen. Yeah. You can't get ahead without using your brains. Oh, too. no. No. Yeah. If, this, is a, this is a profession. It's very yeah. actually very professional. It is. You deal with a lot. You handle yeah. a lot. You can't yeah. make it without the brains. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I just think that that's a big misconception if I were to title this Misconceptions of OnlyFans Models. That oh, would be yeah. one. Yeah. Is that we don't use our brains. Um, and the other one would be that we're not you know family oriented like obviously we don't have you know kids at the events but a lot of people do this to be a mom you know so that they can be stay at home moms so and uh you want to have kids too don't you yes so that's Definitely. exciting yeah so do you have a financial goal um of how much money you want to make before you have kids i don't have a specific goal i'm just trying to make as much money as possible always so. yeah well, let's throw out a goal since I'm now your business coach. Yeah. So what's a goal that you want to make uh, before you have kids? Like saved up, you mean? Yeah. Or actually making on your on your page per month. Oh, I would love to get to 30000 a month. 30000 a month? Yeah. yeah. I don't actually know where I'm at. <laughs> but I'm not like that far away, but I'm not that close either. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think part of it, I think I would like to be making that much a month, like, and actually be able to keep a lot of it. I think right now, I'm actually, I'm probably making, 
I'm not making that much under there, but I feel like I'm paying out so much of it. That yeah, that's the problem. I'm paying out so much to get to that to where I am at. So. Right. So paying out less so that you're keeping more of your thirty thousand. Yeah, because I spent a lot of money on promo alone, for yeah. example. So yeah, and business expenses and all that. So well, we're gonna work on that. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this has been so fun. So before we finish, tell me where is your favorite place to have a photo shoot that you've been so far? And then where would you like to go? Is there any fun place that you'd like to go? Just take pictures on a certain beach or at a certain location or anything like that? Yeah, well, I will say that I've taken some really cool photos on Fremont Street, downtown oh, yeah. Vegas. Uh -huh. um, I, yeah, I don't know what I can say, but I did a little fun little... <laughs> A little voyeur thing there. Yeah. Oh, um, and there was like so many people around, but I just, I don't usually do that kind of thing. Yeah. Either, like, a lot of girls do, but, um, but it was like fun. And then like a lot of, um, just, yeah, really cool photos we got out there with the different lights and different backgrounds. Um, and yeah, that was probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Where I would love to take a photo shoot would probably be in Paris for the oh, Eiffel Tower. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've got to plan a trip to go to Paris. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Yes. Yeah. Just Carl von Sampas. Yeah, we need somebody who speaks French. <laughs> so I don't get lost in Paris. Because yeah. I got lost in Paris one time because I didn't speak French. Oh. And I ran out of money in Paris. This was right after college. Oh. And so I had to get my parents to wire me money. So um, I always say I'm going to only go back to Paris when I'm really wealthy because I don't want to run out of money. <laughs> yeah, I've never been there yet. So, yeah. And I took like 11 years of French. Oh, wow. So you kind of know some French. Yeah. I, I honestly, like I, I get nervous to speak it, but when I'm buzzed, like I, I'm like, whoop, I start speaking. <laughs> Can you speak something right now? Uh, no, I'm putting you on the I spot. Get, I get nervous. I'm putting you on the spot. Well, okay. Put, um, uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You have a French a French uh, mannerism. I think you could fit in well. Oh, my grandmother um, was a lot French, so her, okay. yeah. So okay, cool. <laughs> I have some French in me. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Yeah, so that'll be cool. So we'll put that on your vision board. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. Yay! Well, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, and thank thank you for having me. You're welcome. We're going to have so much fun this weekend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
and um, and explore that. <laughs> Yeah. And it also gives you the freedom to do something that you're passionate about. Yes, freedom to do, yeah, stuff you're passionate about and freedom to have money to be able to enjoy life as well. Uh huh. And to be a stay at home mom. Yes, and I get to be a stay at home mom and work from home, which is the best. So, and how old's your daughter? She's one year old. Oh, yes. that's so fun. Mm -hmm. And she's the sweetest baby. I got to meet her in Utah, and she's one of those babies that does not cry. I mean, she did cry with my kids. <laughs> she, they were so good that my girls picked her up, and she's like, nah! <laughs> it's right just because she was away from mom. Yeah. But it was funny that she was like, more upset with my kids than anyone else. My daughter is not like the nurturing type, Olivia. She's like a kid, crying kid here. <laughs> well, she's just at that age. Yeah, too. right. Yeah, she, yeah. It was funny, but in general, she handled the trip so well. Like Savannah. Oh yeah. But so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. She yes, she enjoyed seeing all of the ladies uh -huh. and all the other kids there too. Yeah, yeah she was so them. sweet. So sweet. Yeah. So, what would you say is something that maybe you don't love about being an OnlyFans model? Hmm. Um, maybe the way that people perceive it. Some people perceive it. Um, so, some people might, I'm, I might feel uncomfortable saying I'm an OnlyFans model to some people, um, and I don't like that. So, just because I, just because of how they might perceive me. Yeah. Right. Because mm -hmm. they might change the way they treat you just because they find out you're an OnlyFans model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, so, but you're starting to kind of grow out of that. Like on our last conversation, you're like, I'm just telling people I'm an OnlyFans model. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely, so now I'm not caring as much. Uh -huh. and it feels so much better now that I'm able, when I do say it, but I guess that is just the only thing. Yeah. But um, now that I've overcome that, um, yeah, I feel so much better now that I can just tell people what I do. Yeah. And be open about it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're getting ready to buy your first house. Aren't you working on that? Yes, Is I it am. still in the process? Yes. Okay. So mm -hmm. still a possibility it's happening? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah. So will this be your first house that you've purchased? Yes. Yeah, very first house. And mm -hmm. all because of OnlyFans money? All because of OnlyFans money, and I'm not sure if it would have happened without it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a huge deal, actually. The, Almost everybody, it's a huge deal for my whole family. I don't think anybody has purchased a home in my family. Oh, wow. So, yeah. You're going to be the first one to purchase a home mm -hmm. in your family. Yeah. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Like, you're totally breaking a cycle in your family from OnlyFans. Yeah. Having money on OnlyFans. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I love that. And we're getting ready for the dance party, the finale of our Las Vegas trip. It's gonna be so much fun. So we are gonna do a big dance party in my suite. And then we're gonna do some Barbie TikToks cause you know, Barbie's hot right now. <laughs> and then we're gonna have a really fun pizza party. So I can't wait to clue you in on a little bit of our behind the scenes and action. All right, here. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh, we met our friends. Hi. Get ready. Let's come go. on. No, no, no. They're on to something else now. Okay. <laughs> well, come on in, Nessie. Uh, 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 no. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 